what is cryptocurrency now there are very many videos on youtube that are explaining what cryptocurrency is and i went through almost all of them most of them but they are not explaining what these hard terms are they're actually making the cryptocurrency concept to be much more complicated so ladies and gentlemen watch this video up to the end because i'm going to be explaining cryptocurrency basing on simple knowledge and creating it very very understandable so that we can all understand cryptocurrency watch it up to the end because at the end of this video i'm going to explain to you whether you should involve yourself in cryptocurrency or you should not involve yourself in cryptocurrency at the end of the video we are going to decide whether cryptocurrency is the next money to be used or not so ladies and gentlemen welcome to this channel my name is Jibril and if it's your first time to come to this channel on this channel we do making money online videos and also if you have not yet not yet subscribed just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification button and then we jump into the video so ladies and gentlemen what is cryptocurrency this is the question everyone is asking now cryptocurrency comes from two words there is crypto then there is currency those are the mother words that are being added to form the word cryptocurrency now we are going to be taking one at a time and then we try to explain and see if we can come at the conclusion of what cryptocurrency is now to understand cryptocurrency you have to understand the word crypto but the word crypto actually is picked from the word cryptography cryptography so they pick the word cryptography and currency to form cryptocurrency so you have to understand each word on itself now what is cryptography the dictionary we just said that cryptography is the art of writing or solving codes but is to understand it more we have to go to the computer guys you have to open the books of computer science and we pick the definition of cryptography from the computer science books so computer science defines cryptography as it is a secure information and communication technique derived from mathematical concepts and set of rule-based calculations logarithm to transform messages in the way that are hard to deceiver or decode so ladies and gentlemen in simple terms cryptography is actually a technique of transferring information information coming from one person to another the cryptography just understand it as it is just a mathematical based way of transferring information so that it can be hard for that information to be decoded or that information to be hacked as simple as that let me hope i've tried to explain what cryptography is because that is the first word that was broken to get the word crypto so let us let us go to the next word so the next word is currency what is currency currency is the medium of exchange of goods or services so your question is now why is crypto identifying itself as a currency when maybe in your country like in my country crypto was actually denounced so if crypto is denounced in your country why is crypto calling itself a currency so ladies and gentlemen we should identify that a currency can be anything but we could have we could pick anything that qualifies to be a currency and we call it a currency so we are going to look at the properties of money what makes something to be called money because money is just a medium of exchange for goods and services so what what makes something to be money so ladies and gentlemen you need to go through the history of money the long long days ago there was no money used people used to trade using butter trade after butter trade they came the the trading in form of gold they chose gold just know that they could have chosen they could have chosen diamond they could have chosen copper they could have chosen silver they could have chosen any metal but they chose to be gold why because now there are some factors that should affect or some factors that we should consider in order to pick something to be recognized as money or to be recognized as a currency so we are going to give we are going to discuss the properties of cryptocurrency the properties of money what's something that is based on to call something that is money and you are going to base on that to to in your thinking capacity to either declare that crypto has no future or crypto has a future so ladies and gentlemen let's go through the factors that affect all factors that we should consider in order to call something current these are the simple are factors that we can consider the common factors that we can consider to call something a currency or money so what do we have we have durability some its ability to stay for long we have portability the ability to be moving with it anywhere the, the, the ability to be moving with it anywhere so we have the vis the visibility the ability to divide it into very many parts we have limited in supply it should be limited in supply and acceptable so ladies and gentlemen let's go through 
each one of them one by one now durability now you should pick this and identify with cryptocurrency if cryptocurrency is cryptocurrency durable ladies and gentlemen cryptocurrency the first crypto crypto coin that was bitcoin is what we are going to be giving reference from bitcoin was founded actually in 2008 and as at the time of making this video we are in 2022 bitcoin it means it has lasted for about 14 years so bitcoin and with my, my my country in 14 years in the 14 years that i've been i've been around my country has changed like currencies like once it has changed around 2012 if i'm not mistaken my country changed the currency there's some old currency that we used to have so durability is is it going to stay long yes i confirm that one and i take bitcoin i take cryptocurrency that yes cryptocurrency can stay for long the second thing is uh portability now can you move portabilities like what what made people to introduce papers was portability because at first money was gold now why did people leave money to come to start picking to use papers was portability the ability to move with it up and down gold was heavy so that's why they introduced this but ladies and gentlemen between bitcoin and the cash money that you are using the faint currency that you are using which one is more portable let us compare that if you have if you have 10 million us dollars if you have 10 million us dollars you are probably going to need a bag to carry that to carry that money but me with my bitcoin i just need codes to be in my mind to be to have my passwords in my mind and i can move anywhere without holding anything or else i can pick my phone that is having my crypto wallet and i move with it so which one is more portable of course that one the cryptocurrency wins then the next one is divisibility the ability to divide this coin now ladies and gentlemen if there is any currency that is very easy to be divided it is the cryptocurrency why because you, when we talk about usdt or we talk about troll you can divide it into any form actually when bitcoin when you have one bitcoin and you feel it is even bitcoin can be divided up to 0 0.0000001 bitcoin we can divide bitcoin in any form and actually we can divide it to a thousands of people in a very simple way we don't need to go be moving for example if you have 100 dollars a one check of 100 dollars and you want to divide it into two 50 dollars 50 dollars you have to move to different shops to get change i don't need to move to different shops to get change with bitcoin i just text that person 50 50 dollars i text this one 50 dollars so if we are talking of divisibility again the cryptocurrency wins now people are saying why why is it that other countries are refusing cryptocurrency and yet it has uh, it has all the abilities it has all the abilities that uh, are needed for a currency no we are still going now limited in supply the next factor is limited in supply for a currency to be accepted because we can even choose stones any stone to be a, a currency you can choose even sand to be a currency but you cannot choose sand to be a currency because everyone will be having it so it means it should be limited now ladies and gentlemen if you are watching this video in 2022 or 2023 i don't know at the time you'll be watching this video but at the time you are watching this video the bitcoin the first coin that was released is still evolving they have not yet even mined it all but in total there will be 21 million bitcoins if they reach 21 million bitcoins bitcoin will never be mined again or will never be produced again so ladies and gentlemen if we are, we are, we are in the time that bitcoin is being mined and the value of bitcoin at this point of time that i'm talking in my country it is about 86 millions of ugandan shillings if that is the value of bitcoin right now and they are still mining bitcoin what will be the value of bitcoin in my country if bitcoin reaches its maximum of 21 millions so my country is denouncing crypto but they should think about this i dedicate this video to my government so the last one that we are supposed to talk about is what my government is doing the acceptability that for something to be money for something to be it we should all accept everyone should accept to use it now people are saying okay acceptability not all countries have accepted that bitcoin is currency and uh, one of the reasons is that bitcoin uh, bitcoin cannot be uh, you cannot tax crypto 
because it doesn't have the third party it is decentralized it goes between it is peer to peer so countries are refusing it because it cannot be it cannot be centralized now the question is will countries accept or it will not accept now ladies and gentlemen even right now almost every part of the world is using cryptocurrency although some other countries have not have not accepted because you cannot control cryptocurrency and then if it reaches a point when cryptocurrency is being accepted by all government it will be a disadvantage to you the one who is watching right now because if all of them accept and all the whole world accepts that cryptocurrency should be used the value of cryptocurrency will be so so high so you still have a chance to own cryptocurrency at that particular price that we are in otherwise if every, everyone is rushing to buy cryptocurrency remember if cryptocurrency reaches 21 million there will be no production of cryptocurrency so it will be limited in supply and the demand will be high so when something is limited in supply and the demand is high the price is going to go high so it means for those who are having bitcoin right now the price they are very sure the price will go high they are very sure it will be accepted why because you have seen the properties of money that we have been looking at bitcoin has all the properties of money ladies and gentlemen uh, comment in the comment section if you really feel like I should bring more of such videos explaining Bitcoin, blockchain, uh, uh, of course, uh, maybe we should explain the Web3 because all of us are learning. If you are new to Bitcoin, just don't think that you are late to Bitcoin because even the founders of Bitcoin, there are very many currencies that are coming. People are improving the, the Bitcoin world. People are really innovating every day. People are not sleeping. We are all learning. So if you feel like we should learn more of Bitcoin, just put a comment section and like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification button because most is coming for you.